Welcome back guys. Welcome to another session from Shomu's Biology and in this video we are going to talk about BRCA mutation. Now uh, you are watching this video because you are interested in BRCA mutation and you want to know what BRCA mutation can cause to produce cancer because BRCA mutation is related with cancer especially it is related with breast cancer nowadays which is a very very serious health concern this time. So BRCA mutation, so for understanding BRCA mutation you need to know very basic thing about the cell biology and how the cell signaling works. Actually BRCA this thing, BRCA is a gene that is present in our body and that gene produces a protein which is responsible, a protein which is responsible for you know DNA repair so it is required for double stranded DNA repair now actually in our body there are DNA molecules which are the blueprint of our life carry all the informations that we have now they are transcribed into RNA and then RNA are translated into proteins. Now proteins are literally everything that we are looking and we are eating, we are doing any, everything, every part you are seeing almost made up with proteins in the living world. So proteins are important. Now if we produce malfunctioning protein that can turn into many different type of diseases like many different diseases are there. But in this case BRCA gene is called as a tumor suppressor gene tumor suppressor gene now as the term suggests this gene is suppressing the growth of tumor and what we know about cancer it is a growing tumor right so cancer is called malignant tumor or growing tumor which will continuously you know cells continuously divide and they start producing huge huge and mass of cells which ultimately can travel from one place to another place and that causes cancer that is the fund of cancer now this brca gene is one of the genes that are present in our body to prevent us fight against cancer because this gene will produce certain proteins those proteins will block the activity of this tumor function or the malignancy that is the continuous growth and supplement of those cells from one place to another place. So that thing is halted by BRCA gene. So that's why they are called tumor suppressor gene in our body. There are many types of tumor suppressor gene present in our body but BRCA is one of them and there are many varieties of BRCA are actually two types one is B BRCA1 another one is BRCA2 which are found to be associated with cancer more. Now these genes are there in the normal time, they will produce certain proteins, for example they will recruit certain proteins like ATM is the name of a protein, not from where you take money. So ATM is a type of protein recruited by BRCA, there are other proteins like CHK2 which are all proteins during which are hugely required during the cell division and cell cycle progress because this protein will assist the whole cell to find out whether the cell cycle is working properly or not whether there is any DNA damage present or not because remember inside the cell if there is a simple DNA damage the cell will not allow it to pass to the next generation because you know it's very dangerous if I have something wrong in me I should never let it transfer to the next generation right so if it if it is ruining me I am suffering so I never want my offspring to be suffered by that same thing. The idea remains the same if there is any breakage of the DNA but the DNA is transferred to the next level that breakage will continue and the future cells will be again destroyed. So the cell will not do that. So what they will do they are having proteins like BRCA and other proteins like ATM, CHK which are termed as DNA repair proteins DNA repair proteins actually they are DNA repair sensing protein that means whether the DNA is having any damage or not they recognize those damage these proteins so they are damage recognition mainly damage 
recognition damage recognition proteins now those damage recognition protein will further recruit some of the dna repair proteins you know we have different modes of dna repair mechanisms in our body like nucleotide excision repair base excision repair for happening all those repair mechanisms we require different types of protein in our body so we produce them so they will recruit those dna repair proteins inside now those dna repair proteins will go and repair the dna majorly this brca produces certain proteins which will recruit further proteins to repair the double stranded double stranded dna break because there are different types of DNA damage all the time inside a cell. Now, double stranded damage means we have a DNA. DNA, you know, DNA is double stranded. There, due to some reason during the process of, you know, cell division by the attachment of microtubules and then anaphasic separation, sometimes what happens, DNA gets damaged from both the strands. Now, if it is damaged from both the strands, we have two strands separated. I mean, they are broken. So, they are kind of having two pieces of the DNA now. So, this type of problem means if this is a gene, now imagine this whole section acting as a gene to produce one particular protein, say protein X. But now due to this breakage, they will not produce protein X. So, as a result, the cell has certain type of problems associated with it, right? So, to, pre to prevent this thing from happening, we have this DNA repair proteins which will bind and then repair the DNA, right? Now, what BRCA does here is BRCA recruit them, these proteins, they sense it, they recruit further DNA repair proteins and the DNA will be repaired. So, the DNA damage is repaired, that's the thing. But if this DNA damage continues, it can give us further deleterious effects. For example, it will produce certain proteins which are responsible for halting the cellular growth because, you know, cell division is good, we need cell to divide. To produce more cells to make tissues but if its cell is dividing without obeying the rules it becomes dangerous right so in that case also due to the breakdown of those dna and no mecha repair mechanisms present due to the blockage or any problem with this brca then what will happen those dna and those mutations will continue to live inside the cell and ultimately it will produce certain type of condition in the cell where the cell is now continuously growing and dividing instead of halting the division. So, they are not obeying the rules because of some malfunctioning proteins which is produced due to the inactivation of this BRCA genes and that thing will turn the cell from a obeying good person to a very law unabiding bad person which is cancerous. So, that is happening. So, in that case so, cell growth will start to occur and division will also start to occur very rapidly and that can give us ultimately cancer, right? So, this is what is the importance of BRCA. You can see BRCA is the guardian of all this process because it is controlling the recruitment of ATM CHK like molecules. Then finally, then, then problem with this, you know, break repair and all these things. So, this is the function of BRCA. So, once we understand the functionality of BRCA genes, now we know if there is any mutation with BRCA, that will ultimately change the whole cascade of signal and ultimately will convert the cell into a cancerous cell. For example, like the breast cancer, which is very much associated with this BRCA, right? Why it is much more associated with breast cancer, not the other type of cancer, it is still not configured yet. But they are much more associated with breast cancer nowadays. And they are also found to be associated with ovarian cancer. Now, let us talk about more about the mutation that is going to happen in BRCA. Now, the type of mutation we see inside the BRCA are majorly point mutations. That means, there is only a single nucleotide change in the DNA which will change the whole DNA frame, it means the reading frame, you know. So, let us say, for example, let us say we are having CAT, 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 something like that. This is, for example, for, for simplicity's sake, we have this thing uh, as a DNA strand, right, for example. Now, this will produce certain type of proteins. For example, CAT stands for pro producing histidine. So, they will produce bunch of histidines there. 
Now, if there is any problem and in any point mutation, for example, instead of this A, it becomes C. So, it is a point mutation. So, instead of adenine, there is a misincorporation of nucleotide, which is cysteine, uh, which is, which is, sorry, uh, right, Cis uh, which is, you know, cytosine, for, sorry for that. So, once they put the cytosine instead of adenine, what it does actually, this CCT will code for proline. So, instead of histidine, now in the same place we will have proline. It, what it does actually, it changes the type of protein. Now, you may notice, you may want to know why this type of small changes lead to bigger change. Now, in that case, I will encourage you to look at one of my other videos called the genetic mutation as well as you can see uh, the simple point mutation video where you can find the interesting fact about how small change in the DNA can impact so large inside. Okay, and then come back to see this part because I have already talked about that. I am not going to talk about that thing again in the video. So, this type of changes can occur in the BRCA gene. So, in this type of simple change, point mutation, here is a substitution. Instead of A, we have a C. It can be a deletion, it can be an addition. Majorly, it is a substitution. So, what it does actually, it changes the course actually and produces different type of proteins. Okay, so this type of thing happens inside. Now, another interesting fact about BRCA mutation is that BRCA mutation is a type of germline mutation. That means this BRCA2 or BRCA1 mutation can be transferred from one generation to another generation and that is dangerous. Because for example, if one of my parent contains this BRCA mutation, there is a chance of me getting BRCA mutation from him or from her, right? So, it can happen to anybody, like male and female both. You may be wondering why a breast cancer is occurred to, I mean, related with male, but it actually does. Theoretically speaking, this BRCA gene is found in both male and female. Mutation can also occur in both male and female. Now, the mutation in BRCA definitely does not always mean cancer. That's another myth I'm going to talk about. Mutation in BRCA never always necessarily mean cancer. But if there is a mutation in BRCA, it is more likely to get cancer than the other person, right? For example, if you have a mutation in BRCA1, you are having five times more chance of having cancer at your later stage of age than other person, right? It is more for women because for the woman, if, if they have a BRCA mutation of BRCA1 gene, that woman is going to get this cancer five times more than the other woman at the age of, you know, 60 to 75. They get more chance of getting cancer. Similarly for the BRCA2, but BRCA2 mutation is rare. Actually, both of them are rare, but BRCA2 is pretty rare. Most, I mean, if there is any BRCA2 mutation, the chances of getting cancer is less than there is any BRCA1 mutation. Okay. So, this is a kind of statistical input that they have. But what happens actually that the actual genetics behind this whole process or transfer, if I draw, it will look something like that. For example, we are having, let's say, a father, a mother. The father is having that mutation. For example, uh, the father is having the mutation. And in the children, if we look at here, say male, female, male and female. So during this course, what we can have, the male can have this mutation, one female can have and one male, one female will not have that. So, the thing is, if the mutation occurs in the male, if it occurs in the female, what is it will produce? It is much, that female will much prone to ovarian cancer and breast cancer. On the other hand, if that mutation occurs and found in male, there is a chance of breast cancer. Actually, breast cancer can also occur in men. Okay. But there is a, most of the time if it is occurred in a male, in that case, it is transferred. It is, it, it is kind of changed to different kind of cancer like prostate cancer, like colorectal cancer, pancreatic cancer and so on. Okay. Now, the idea of this genetic transfer is that this BRCA mutation is dominant in nature. So, if your parent is having that, there is definitely a chance of you to getting it. 
there is a huge chance of you to getting it. So it is dominant in nature. For example, there are two genes, you know, we all inherit two genes, sets, one from father, one from mother. Now, if the father is having the mutation, for example, like this, for example, let's say this is, so say this is me, this is my father, I am, uh, my father is having one default, I mean, one defected genes, mother is having a undefected genes. So, one gene from father, one gene from mother. So, actually, I should get one defect, one normal allele. But as this mutation is a dominant type, so definitely I am going to have the mutation in me and that is going to increase the chance of cancer in me. Now why that happens? If there is one gene defected with the BRCA, what it does actually, it, it never produces uh, those type of, you know, it, it has problems with the recognition of the damage and DNA repair. And if there is a problem with default DNA repair system inside the cell, the cell will try to do some other process of DNA repair, some bypassing mode of DNA repair. And that other process of DNA repair are not that much good. So they are error prone type of DNA repair. But the DNA repair with this BRCA mode is much more strong. But if there is any problem with BRCA and it is not working, cell want to shift to other type of DNA repair which are not that good, not that strong to repair the gene. And ultimately the mutations start to accumulate. So in that case, if someone is getting one copy mutated form of this BRCA gene, that person more is having a more chance of getting more mutations in the body. So this is dangerous. It is amplifying in your body due to, because you know why? Because this BRCA gene is a guardian of cell cycle. It is the tumor suppressor. So if any time, if there is any mutation in tumor suppressor genes like BRCA, like P53, in that case, it is very hard for the person to not get the disease, right? So that thing always present. So this is all about kind of BRCA mutation. And I hope that's helpful, guys. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and watch other video about cancer and other video about mutation because I'm going to add a lot of video about mutation in, in this series. Thank you.